Well, it might have saved a lot of trouble if Daniel Fetum had read my interview with The Chronicle on the 5th of July, which sets out the basics of what it is that I said in the statement yesterday. There's nothing new there. We've expanded on some of those issues. It's the sort of thing that we could have talked about in Parliament if instead of simply asking the question that he and every lawyer in Gibraltar and everybody who has any training in lending and commercial issues like banking knows, they asked the one question that could not be answered. They asked a question knowing it could not be answered because they wanted to create a dramatic effect. Let me put it to you and to your viewers in this way, Stephen. If Daniel Feetham had asked the government, will the government please make available Stephen Nisha's medical records to the opposition and to the public? The answer would have been, no, sir, we're not prepared to make that information available. He would have known that that was the answer. And then he would have got up and walked out and said that the government is not transparent. The most transparent government of our democratic time. Because we have more meetings of a parliament, we answer more questions in our parliament. We cannot answer some questions, and we will not answer some questions where there is commercial sensitivity and where it's in the taxpayer's interest that we don't answer questions. Like, for example, the issue of Commonwealth Park, where Mr Figueres doesn't just want to know what it's going to cost. He wants to know what we're spending every single day. Well, look, if he's a minister one day, let's hope he's not, then he can have a management account of things. If Mr. Fita wants to change the law about banking secrecy and about lending secrecy and about commerciality of disclosures, then he can have that sort of information. What he should have asked about and what he would have got the information for is lending criteria, what it is that we are considering, and what it is that credit finance does. I think what the opposition is getting at, even though they might not want to say so publicly, is that the money in credit finance company, or at least some of it, is being used to help people, companies, individuals who are close to the GSOP Liberals. Well, if they're saying that, then that is absolutely disgraceful. And I know that they are because disaffected members of the GSD have received a letter email from Daniel Feetham when he has made exactly that sort of allegation. Look, that is totally untrue. If my premiership can be criticised for anything by members of the GSLP or of the Liberal Party, it's because it does not favour them. And many people might have expected that in winning the general election, the parties that won would have behaved quite like the GSD did when it won the general election in 1996 and thereafter and favoured their own. We have certainly not done so. But Mr Feetham has made a very serious allegation in that respect, which is untrue in his email to members of the GSD. He has said that the government through credit finance is lending to GSLP members so that they can pay tax bills. That is untrue. Mr Feetham needs to put up or shut up. He cannot demonstrate that that is true because it is untrue. Having made such a serious allegation, he has risked that the public lose complete trust in him. Our system of government and opposition works because the government trusts the chief minister and they trust the leader of the opposition. We can argue about things, but there must be trust between us and the population. In doing what he has done, Mr. Feetham has totally demolished, in my view, the relationship that he had with the public and with his party. And he needs to consider very carefully what his next step is. Remember that he will always be recalled for having criticized the chief minister's speech at the United Nations, having said that he might remove the concrete blocks which make up the reef, having said that he would quickly go for quadripartite talks, and now for this allegation, which is totally unsustainable. When you put all those together, Mr. Cretum, Mr. Feetum's credibility is absolutely shot. And what he needs to do is consider his position and perhaps even consider resigning. Well, I was going to say, when people use that expression about considering your position, what they're really saying is that that person should resign. Is that what you're doing? Are you suggesting that Mr. Feetham should resign? Well, see, I'm in contact not just with people who are of my same political persuasion, but of course, in Gibraltar, we all know each other. I'm in contact with people of the GSD's political persuasion. There are very many reasonable people in the GSD who are very disappointed by the way that Mr. Feetham is behaving. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I think the GSD deserves better than it's getting at the moment. It is important if we're going to have a careful debate in our democracy about important issues. And I'm not saying that credit finance is not important, but if we're going to have a reasonable debate about these issues, we should have it based on the facts. Nobody should be allowed to invent the facts or to pretend dramatically that there are reasons for walking out of Parliament. And I know that there are many, many people in our community who are very disappointed by the way that Daniel Feetham has discharged his responsibility as leader of the opposition in relation to credit finance, in relation to the issue with Spain, and in relation to just about everything else that he's dealt with since February.